Hello, what's up guys? This is Synergist and I'm here playing uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So this is just a simple uh, starting tips and tricks to get ahead even a little in the game. So we'll cover uh, the foods, uh, some farming spots, and a nice little trick that you can do uh, pretty much uh, one fourth of the game. So let's start. Uh, yeah, I'm using a katana and check this out. Boom! <laughs> Kenshin and Sishi of Combine. So, as soon as you can, you, need, you should consume uh, foods to have a, a first time bonus like this max HP and con. Uh, this HP again. And HP strands and so on and so forth. You should do this as soon as you can. And Every time you encounter uh, uh, new enemies, you should probably kill it until you s you see all its drops. You'll never know that it will have the ingredients that you need. So you, you can do this uh, after you rescue Harry. Because he's the village farmer. This is the one you can give plant seeds and give you a head start. What I recommend is uh, give him the rice seeds first. Then other ingredients can be bought to uh, Dominic. As you can see here. What I found earlier in the game is if you buy uh, like an ingredient here that, does, that that you don't have a recipe, sometimes it just appear on uh, Johannes, like the red bean uh, ingredient. This wasn't here earlier. And just appear when I bought the red bean paste. So yeah, that's pretty much about foods. And now we will go to <coughs> the shards. As you can see, I have like max dagger, sword, not yet. Because I have blocked the materials and have discovered it. Spear, rank 7, but it's max also. Firearm, I haven't farmed those yet. Great sword expertise. And katana. As you can see, I have maxed this all. This one I am going to upgrade next. So it will be a permanent uh, skill for you. You don't need to equip it. <laughs> so I will show you uh, farming spots uh, later. Oh, by the way, you can craft the other shards that you can uh, get from any enemies, like the Great Sword Expertise, Katana Expertise. You don't need to farm everything. Just you can farm just one weapon, if, especially early in the game. That the Materials and gold scars. So you just need one sword expertise for this great sword, and a claymore that you can craft here, and the katana also. So don't worry, the sword or the sword expertise doesn't disappear after you craft this. So you should craft this up till level 9, so you will have the maximum uh, passive bonus of the attack when you're using the respective respective uh, weapons here as you can see this is max for me 
and try to enhance it. Don't really bother here about enhancing the uh, skills. Even this one, it's only rank 4, it's great too, but it's pretty <coughs> awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. So what's really important is the passives you should you should do. Okay. Now I will show you some where to farm this uh, sword expertise. But first, let me show you where to get this. This will greatly increase your uh, drop uh, drop rate for the materials and uh, the XD shards that you need. I when I first farming. Uh, I haven't found this until earlier today <laughs> so yeah I will back and I will show you where yeah we're back so we go back to the Gallium Minerva the starting place and reach this area you need the Reflector Ray So you should farm after you get this As you can see if you use this Sometimes you won't reach it, but there's a trick You can use double jump After using that it's it's hard at the start, but you get used to it. So the planners here ring is is here. Now doubt of the way. I'll show you where to form the uh, passive expertise. Here. So I'm you see True arrow. This is more efficient if you can one shot the monster. So just do this. It's up to you if you want to get the loots, but if you're just aiming for the expertise, just do this back to back. Yeah, <coughs> that's for the sword expertise. <coughs> Excuse. Now I will show you a uh, a tricky that I just found. We will get. We need to get here. <coughs> so here we are. Be sure you have the reflector A and double jump. Or just double jump. Oh my god. Wrong move. Do you need you need this? Just jump. Ah sorry about that. Need to remove the familiar cause they're destroy they're killing our stepping monster. So you just jump onto the monster. Ah, and you can reach that. I never knew this, I just accidentally done this. And you can, you will, you can do a double jump again after stepping to the to a monster so that's pretty efficient don't need the high jump and this one yeah like that and get away 
<laughs> this is the uh, outsider. The shield outsider. So they are needed for the quest too. Yeah, and yeah, this this is a rare gems. This is one thousand G, if I remember correctly. Next up is Augment of the Mind uh, in uh, where is it again? Ah uh, here. Confirm Augment in the augment of it and the and then dagger expertise here. So just, so just use whatever strong long range skill you have. Yeah, this one drops the <coughs> augment of the it demon. Where is it? This one and then the killer barber and the gargoyle also. I am not using Petra Ray that much, so if you, can, if you want, you can sell this all. Yeah. And they're so they drop so many items that you can sell also. Yeah. That's that's it. Oh, forgot to show you where this is. So that's just below the the unset cathedral uh, teleporter. Apparently, if this. I think this is the most important skills, the augment of the aid, because it's a passive, and when you rack it up to the max rank, it will be a, pa a skill shard. So it's a permanent skill for you, even if you're not equipping the, that passive. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And be sure you, you have high luck to farm better and have a high drop rates. And the location of well, where was it again? Ah, this is OD, the vampire. I thought it's Dracula or what, but he it says it's Draculur, Dracul. So this is the spot. This is in live ex machina. You can get books from him, so be sure to get the book, uh, uh, book strength, strength book, and the lock book. Be sure to visit visit him often as soon as lo as you progress the game. Whenever you read the book, the the one with the journals, the like this. I don't know the exact number, but if you read plenty of this, it will it will increase the number of books that you can hold. So for me, it's currently three. Yeah, and this is my total bonus from that's from the foods that I have eaten. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video is helpful and see you in the next one. Let me show you something cool. Where is it again?